Okay, this is a follow-on video to the atheist scam that I mentioned in Towards a Better Atheism, uh, episode 3. I'm not sure this recording is going to work, but I'm going to give it a shot. The reason I call it a scam that atheists are perpetuating on other atheists is because of the kinds of claims that are made. And if you had half a brain, you could look at the Bible in the New Testament, or, or Old Testament really, and you could tell that you're being scammed as an atheist. Okay, but because the kinds of claims that are made are made as if you didn't have any Bible to compare it to. Okay, in other words, the atheists who are scamming you and making money off you as another atheist are assuming that you won't check what they say. And that's the very definition of a scam is that you don't do your homework, you go with something that you want to see in, you know, and then just buy into any old lie that agrees with what you want it to say. Now, Christians get scammed all the time, that you know. But what you don't know because you're not doing your homework, is that atheists are getting scammed by other atheists too. Particularly the stars of atheism, like that disgusting guy Richard Dawkins, who's making money right, left, and center, and he's presuming that you won't do your homework. Okay, I have nothing against atheism, but I have everything against being scammed. And I'm going to show you how he's scamming you, he and all the other guys of his leadership. You guys are being scammed just as much as the King James only is are being scammed. And they're being scammed because they don't read the Bible either. Okay. The scam artists on both sides, the King James only is and the atheist scammers, are telling you that the Bible says that the earth is only 6,000 years old. It doesn't say that. That's the first scam is you're being lied to about what the Bible actually says. And if you're too stupid to live, you don't bother to check what you're told. Okay, this is the only creation verse in the entire Bible. Right there. Just that first sentence. Now I did a 21 hour series on Genesis in the Hebrew to back up what I'm telling you here. I'm trying to do a shorter version of it now. But if you want to see the actual Hebrew, I already did that in my Genesis with Exegesis series. And the video description is going to have a link to that playlist. So you can see the actual text for yourself in the Hebrew and in the Greek translation that the Jews did back in 273 BC. Which no King James only is can read. It's the King James only is who are contending that the universe is 6,000 years old. Not your average Christian. Your average Christian knows better because he actually reads the Bible. And in the Bible, this is the only verse, the only one, that's talking about the initial creation of the universe. Heavens and the earth, this is a Hebraic expression for the universe. Okay, and I proved that in my Genesis video, so I'm not going to spend time on that here. That's it. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. That's the only creation verse in the entire Bible. It doesn't tell, it just says he did it, created. Bara in Hebrew. It just says he did it. It doesn't say how long it took. It doesn't say how short it was. It just says he did it. So anybody telling you that the Bible says the universe is 6,000 years old cannot read it. Okay, anyone telling you the Bible says that the universe is 6,000 years old cannot read it. That includes all of your atheists who are making the claim that the Bible says that. And then, of course, the Christians are being scammed in exactly the same way. And nobody's doing their homework. Look, it's, can it be any plainer in blue? In the beginning, God created. It doesn't say when, doesn't say how, doesn't say who. It just says he did it. Now, this is a mistranslation in the English. Okay, and pretty much all the English and all the other 
Bibles in translation mistranslated too. The Hebrew is tohu abohu and it means chaos and wasteland. And the word isn't was, it should be became. And the earth became chaos and wasteland. So instead of what you see there in blue, the corrected translation should read, the earth became chaos and wasteland. It does not say when. It's saying it's a later event after the initial creation of the earth. After. This doesn't tell you how long it took or by what means God chose. And in fact, Christians for centuries have been trying to figure that out. Because educated Christians know that this is the only creation verse in the Bible. And they were trying to figure out how God did it. And we're going to get to that later in this video. They were trying to figure out how. There's a guy called Augustine who's a famous Christian. He was a real idiot, but that's okay. The Christians consider him famous. They consider him a spiritual giant. The fact that he's an idiot is something you don't learn until you're a mature Christian. <clears throat> and he wrote something in, in the Summa Theologica called Treatise on the Six Days. Okay, they knew that it wasn't the initial creation because that's right here. He was trying to figure out if God employed the angels to like, you know, do it for him. Because it doesn't say how God did it. It doesn't say if he did it over a long time or a short time. All it says is bara. He created it out of nothing. Bara means to create out of nothing in Hebrew. Okay, but then here we have a transition. The earth, not the universe, but the earth, became chaos and wasteland. That's the corrected translation from the Hebrew, which I go through in my Genesis exegesis playlist. The Hebrew here is tohu wabohu, and the reason you know this is became is because there's an adversative vow in there. W-A-W, they call it vav now. Okay, it's, it's a, a transitional particle that's translated in the Greek with a D-E, which means that there's a change that takes place. And the New International Version recognizes that fact, but the other translations don't, because they're all too stupid to live. Okay, the Christians who say that this is part of the initial creation don't know what the Hebrew says. Okay, that's all I can tell you, is they're too dumb to live. But I'm sorry, Richard Dawkins is too dumb to live, because this just says created without a timeline. And he should have done his homework, so he's a bad scholar. Of course, he doesn't know genetics to save his life. Because if he had done his homework, he would have known for centuries, this was understood right here, this verse, was understood to mean that there was a transition between verse 1, the initial creation, and verse 2, something went wrong. And in Isaiah 45, that chapter talks back to this, where God says, I did not create it, he's using the same words as here, chaos and wasteland. In other words, it became chaos and wasteland for another reason. So if you were to compare this to Isaiah chapter 45, even in translation, look at verses 7 through 19. And Jesus Christ is talking there saying, Hi, I didn't create it this way. I didn't create it this way. So it was not at initial creation. You're with me on that, okay? If you're going to debunk the Bible, fine. If you're going to be an atheist, fine. i got no problem with being an atheist. But if you're going to pretend to be a scholar, then do your homework. Or you're going to be embarrassed. Because even a brain out can prove that Richard Dawkins is the stupidest guy on the face of the earth. He can't even do his homework on this phrase. And he should have. Because I learned that, what, 40 years ago. He wasn't even teaching this stuff 40 years ago. He didn't write the God delusion 40 years ago. I learned this 40 years ago. What happened to him? How come he's so dumb he doesn't even know this? The earth became chaos and wasteland. This is initial creation. This is something that happened after initial creation. The earth got trashed up. This was commonly known in Christian theology 40 years ago when I learned it. So this verse onward is about the restoration of the earth, not initial creation. And if you don't know that, you're too damn dumb to live. 
Like I said, 40 years ago, this was common knowledge. And you can just look up the grammar and know that, which I did in my Genesis playlist, which you can look at and see for yourself. The actual Bible text in Hebrew and Greek, you can see for yourself. I show it on screen. So that you can see the source text, and you don't have to believe brain out. So Richard Dawkins is an idiot. He's too dumb, too dumb to live. He's trying to scam you. But I got more proof of that that's coming over later. Now, I want you to understand something. And darkness was over the surface of the deep. That's poetic translation. It just means that the whole earth was covered in water. Have you ever heard of Pangea in geology? In geology, that's not God, that's not the Bible, that's geology that I even learned in college 40 years ago. There, the, Just look it up in the Google if you want. P-A-N-G-E-A. P-A-N-G-E-A-E-A, -E -E I think is how they spell it. I'm not sure if they're using the Greek spelling, but it's Pangea. That's the geological idea, the geological name for the whole earth being underwater. And they don't know how long ago it was, and that's where plate tectonics comes from. You know, the whole idea of plate tectonics. You can look that up in, the, in Google also. Okay, I learned this 40 years ago in school, so you can learn it now. The fact that they don't teach it properly now, well, I'm sorry. All right, so there you go. You want some kind of, you know, a uh, hello. Geology says this. The Bible says the same thing. I'm not trying to defend the Bible. I'm trying to show how you're being scammed. The Bible says things that science says, okay? And I'm not saying you should believe the Bible for that reason, but I am saying that when, when atheists deny that the Bible says the same thing as science, they're trying to scam you. And you should be aware of that. That doesn't mean you should believe in Christ or believe in the Bible. Just because the Bible and science agree on some things doesn't mean that the Bible is what you should believe in. Doesn't mean that you should believe in God. You've got more tests that you have to employ to do that. But if you're looking for a scam artist, hi, Pangea is depicted right here. All right? How long ago did this happened? Nobody knows because it says the earth became chaos and wasteland. Doesn't say how long ago. Could be 4 billion years ago, 11 billion years ago, yesterday. I mean, it's not really yesterday, you know that. But, hello, there's no date given here. None at all. Okay, now, here's where it gets really weird as far as being an atheist is concerned. All this stuff is literally six days okay see all the way down okay we get to here because I'm gonna stop at 25 that's that's six days and then we get to seven days okay I'm having trouble with the the, the recording so I'm gonna have to uh, pick this up in the next increment sorry though it's not working properly Okay, I'll come back and I'm going to stop, start at 125 because I want to show you the next scam that Richard Dawkins is playing on everybody.